want. Let's see what you've got. Let's get up close and burn the head. Start the whole good. I can do oh, this. Thanks. Give yourself a blue player at Flint grenade! Fire fire! Arcing horn! Sliding slinger! Side flash! Rising flame! Incendiary air! First down! Upper hand! No signs of any radiation. Infrared, motion sensors, I got nothing. This thing's dead as a doornail. Oh, man! So it's basically a skill, right? But the make is nothing like ours. Or the ganglions. Where could it be from? Oh, wow! I can't even tell what its armor is made of! What is this feeling? It's oppressive. It's pulsing off of this thing. It's almost as if the ghost of its pilot is somehow still lingering. And that material there, at its core, it's dark matter. This must be their handiwork. No. No idea. All right. Well, we got what we came here for. Let's call in the salvage choppers and get it out of here. Lynn, contact Commander Vandom. On it. Right. We should start heading back too. Mm, just 
thinking about walking past all those tainted again makes my knees all wobbly. Tatsu have just the thing. Friends fuel up with Tatsu Tasty Lunchbox. Tatsu? What are you doing here? Tatsu knew friends must be hungry, so Tatsu rides spinny plane here to deliver hot meal. Tatsu hero pod, after all. Oh, you idiots! You're gonna attract the tainted! Relax, Lindley. After quick lunch, Tatsu fly back home on Spinny Plane before anyone notice. And how exactly do you plan to do that? All the Spinny Planes have already left. You're gonna have to walk back through all those tainted. Don't last ten seconds out here. Huh? <sighs> Maybe we can get another chopper here in time. Too late. Looks like somebody else wants a hug. Tatsu, don't move an inch, you hear? Damn you!
Alpha? Good lord. Everyone, take him down. Get the hell out of here. <gasps> You've got to be kidding me.
Was that thing trying to help us? Maybe. Or maybe it was just toying with us. Well, I think I could have taken it. <laughs> we should get back to New L.A. I want to stop by the hangar and get a better look at that skell. Right. Good work, people. Commander? What are you doing out here? Did they seal off the area? Actually, I was waiting for you, Lynn. Hmm? Why me? You want to tinker with that new alien mech? Well, I mean, duh. Good, because I'm putting you in charge of research. You help reel it in, you get first crack at it. You and your team risked a lot out there. You earned it. Really, sir? Everything's set up. They're expecting you. Yes, sir! Oh my god, thank you so much, Commander! Is this even a skell? I mean, the external armor maybe, but I'm not detecting any known materials or components for the purple frame part. In fact, I can't even find a power source. Maybe it's like an idol or something? To some alien god or whatever? What about a cockpit? Or any space for a pilot? Let's see here. There is a cavity in the middle of the chest area. If this thing is a vehicle, that'd have to be the cockpit. Hmm. Perhaps it's not a weapon? It was abandoned, after all. And in that godforsaken place. But it was also worth the ganglion sacrificing all those soldiers to try and recover it. Surely it must hold some value. Granted. Now the question is whether we'll be able to uncover it. Ms. Ku is one of our best, but we can't expect her to work miracles. If you ask me, that's time better spent studying that Ares of yours, Elma. All right, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about, would you? Let me explain. The Ares is what Elma... Random. Oh, that's right. Those are your orders. Have I made myself clear? Quiet. You seem displeased, Gajarg. Perhaps the great hero of Roth does not enjoy taking orders from the Ganglion. Perhaps he feels it beneath him. It appears nothing is beneath me of late. 
I still hear the anger in your voice, the way you spit out the words. Accept your fate. Then you might find me a more accommodating master, Prince Jarth. Oh, but how rude of me. Should I have said, former prince? I never cared much for titles, Counselor Luxar. It's Grand Master, damn you! The entire Ganglion organization is at my command, as are you and your people. I will not remind you again. Oh, but how rude of me. My sincere apologies, Grand Counselor. Hmm. Have you also forgotten the price the Rothian people will pay if you fail me? I promise you, it will not be pretty. What will happen if the humans beat you to the prize? Need I remind you of that as well? No, you need not. Then mind your tongue, former prince. Unless your pride can feed and clothe your people. Filthy cur. Yet I will suffer him gladly, if he can help lead me to you, O oh, Great One.